In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to make a motor hook for the helicopter or ride stuff event um, that uses rubber band power for your devices. Um, things you'll need an X Acto knife. Uh, this will be used for cutting the aluminum tubing. Um, two pair of pliers. Uh, I recommend needle nose, but um, you need to have at least one pair of needle nose. The other pair can be whatever you would like. Uh, then you need um, aluminum or brass tubing. You can get this at most hobby stores. Um, just ask them for aluminum tubing and they, they should be able to help you out. And music wire, also called piano wire. Um, uh, this is a rather thick piano wire, but you don't want to get too thin. The thinner the piano wire, the more likely it is to bend under the pressure of the rubber. So you need to find a good balance there between weight and, uh, and strength. Um, first thing you want to do is bend a 90 degree, oops, uh, a 90 degree angle in, on your wire a very small amount, about an eighth of an inch. A very, very, very short amount there. Then you want to bend two more 90 degree segments that are a little bit longer. There's one. Make that about 90 degrees. And there's two. This should form almost a box such that the first angle you bent is about halfway across. Then you bend the next one back. So you have a shape like this. Okay, You're almost done. Now what you need to do is make sure that everything is lined up. The point here on your wire needs to be in line with the rest of the wire back here, your, your, your shaft down there. Um, this is so that when your rubber band is hooked on it spins um, truly and it spins evenly. You also need to make sure that when I had it had a bend this direction in the wire, you want to make sure that that bend is straight. And you can spin your wire like this to see if this point is in line. Mine's a little off center, so I'm going to bend back this way a little bit. And that's centered up pretty well. Um, you can do a circle if you would like. I recommend the, the more square shape on the end here so the rubber band stays in this very far point and doesn't shift up or down. When you have round ends on these, a lot of times the rubber band will shift up or down and will be off-centered and cause your, um, your plane or your helicopter to shake. Uh, then you want to cut. I recommend cutting long um, just because it's always easy to cut shorter. It's hard to make stuff longer. So there's your uh, there's your your motor shaft. Now for the um, for the tubing for your axle there, uh, you want to take your tubing like this. You don't want to use um, wire cutters like are on this. Uh, oops, I'll drop an exacto knife uh, like are on this pair of pliers here. Because when you do, I'll demonstrate here. You cut off and it pinches it closed. Okay, that's not how you want to cut this. The way to cut it is to take an X-Acto knife or razor blade and lay it down and then roll back and forth with the uh, X-Acto knife making sure that you spin. You want to apply firm pressure but not too hard because you don't want to pinch the tubing because this is a very thin soft tubing and it will pinch if you press too hard. You will roll it back and forth until it breaks and then it will pop off and you've got a nice smooth opening right there for your uh, tubing. 